Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Femke and today I wanted to show you how I made this nail art design, which is actually a recreation of my own original wedding nail design. So I'm just going to put a little insert of the photo here. My nails were so extremely short back then. I actually broke a couple right before we got married. So yeah, stuff happens. But this is what I came up with with my like length at the moment oh, like the length of my nails i mean of course and actually i like it more on this length than i liked it on shorter but as you saw on the shot you can totally recreate this on shorter nails as well but what you want to do first is start off with a base coat i'm just using one by essence i use this one all the time as you can see in previous videos as well and just apply that to clean and nail polish free nails making sure to cap off the edge as well just to make sure that your manicure lasts for a really long time but i actually wanted to ask you a little question what do you guys think of my little new glittery backdrop or like my pink backdrop or any other color I might ever use it isn't something new I used to do this like two years before um, like earlier as well I used it uh, to do nail arts on I used it as a background for my Aliexpress haul videos so this isn't like something new but it was just um I found my little colored background thingies again and I just felt like it might be fun to use it every now and then. So do let me know if you prefer something colored as a background or just my white standard backdrop. But the nail polish we're going to use is a really old one by Essence which is from the Color and Go collection. It is a beautiful satin champagne color so it does dry a little bit matte but it has like a slight shimmer to it. Um, this one is just a really, really lovely one. It is pretty opaque in the first layer. Um, if you have shorter nails, you could easily just wing it with one layer. But personally, I just really love to add a second layer to make sure that my tips are completely opaque as well. And there isn't like any um, like patching or patches or anything like that. So you just want to apply that to all of your nails. And because it is a satin finish nail polish, it really does dry pretty quickly. Oh, and if you would like to know how can I on earth ever remember, like five, almost five years ago, what nail polishes I used, um, I actually have a blog and I've been blogging for, let me think, like eight and a half years now, even longer. Um, and I made a regular blog post with some photos and text on my blog um, and like Thankfully, <laughs> I wrote down every item I used. So that was pretty easy for me to just grab everything I used before. Um, but yeah, you just want to wait for like three minutes or something before you go in with your second layer if needed. Um, this nail polish, of course, isn't available anymore because it's, it's like from a really old collection. But you can just use any... Um, champagne-y kind of color if you want to. You could go in with more of like a soft, dusty pink color. It is totally up to you. I'm just recreating my own wedding nails. So I would really love to hear, by the way, if you are married or anything in any shape or form like that. Um, what kind of nail art did you wear or what kind of shade of nail polish? Maybe you didn't wear any nail polish at all. I'm really curious to hear about that. So do let me know in the comments down below um, what or maybe what you would love to wear if you ever get married. So yeah, just make sure that everything is dry before you go in with the next step. Um, I also used two super glittery polishes by Catrice. These are from a really old collection as well, but any other gold and um, silver multi-shaped, um, can you call it like that? It's like a glittery nail polish with a ton of different shapes of uh, or sizes of glitter in there so i think there are like three or four different sizes in here um, but it's just really pretty and you want to make sure that if you apply it straight from the bottle like i do just use the dry brush technique so make sure there isn't much product on the brush left so you can actually make kind of like a sparse um, glitter fade effect. So I applied this like I did in the original nail art almost five years ago from the cuticle towards half of the nail. So you just want to go to like the half. If you have shorter nails, just go in a little bit 
and if you think you applied a little bit too much you can easily just tap on it with your finger to get rid of some of that excess polish so i just applied this to all of my nails in the same manner you could do like a glitter fade from the tip towards the cuticle as well if you want to do it the other way around that would look really pretty too but because i did wanted to keep some basic elements from the original design in here i just did it all like i did five years ago or it's uh, on september 1st it will be five years ago but time flies as we speak so it won't be that long until it is september again you know maybe it's just me and maybe it's just me getting older and they always say like the older you get the faster time goes maybe it's that <laughs> but yeah before you know it it's christmas you know that's like i feel like time goes so fast but back to the tutorial i'm also going to apply some of the silver glitter which is from the um, exact same collection i think it was from like the luxury lacquers or something like that but this silver polish i have used it so much it's all thick and gunky so it's a little bit like difficult to apply at the moment and i don't have any nail polish thinner i try to like thin it up a little bit with some top coat but my my effort was like hmm, not good enough so i'm just going to apply it like pretty sparsely um thank god it is like uh, a sparse kind of glittery design so it doesn't have to be fully opaque but you can just use any silver glitter to your liking just make sure that it has a translucent like clear base in it then i also wanted to or not really wanted to go in i also went in like five years ago with this beautiful sparse really finely milled silver holographic top coat um i haven't opened this in ages so it took me a little while to actually be able to open it and i applied this in the original design on the thumb and the ring finger only so that was what i was going for like in in first instance um but i felt like it was so pretty to add that like very finely milled holographic glitter i just wanted to apply it to all of the nails and it's totally up to you if you want to do that just like i did right here but i just love my glitter i can't have enough glitter on a nail and i just think it gives a very lovely kind of like a fairy dust kind of effect it is very beautiful and i personally really love to just add it on like champagne colors like this because it isn't totally like in your face but when the light hits it in a particular way it just really like sparks up the nail massively but then i'm just going to use a catrice top coat which i also did in the original design but it was like from a different uh, top coat line by catrice um, so you just want to add a layer of that and you want to place some clear rhinestones on that i just took some clear ones with a silver backing because i thought that really suited this design and i also saw in my original design that i also used some silver backed um, clear rhinestones i am going to only add these to the thumb and the ring finger like i did in the original design as well but i'm just going to add three different um, or like three single rhinestones to each nail i did see that on the original design i added a little more and a little bit um, like smaller ones but i couldn't find my really small rhinestones i'm actually reorganizing all of my nail art supplies and tools and stuff so i just i i couldn't find them in my entire collection but you just want to apply a layer of top coat to the other nails as well and making sure to cap off the edge to just have a very long like last time of your manicure so i'm just going to add my three final rhinestones in here um, if you don't like this kind of rhinestone you could also go in with like ab crystals those are like the multi-colored rhinestones those are really pretty as well but i really love the like silver clear effect to this nail it is kind of like a gold champagne silver kind of design and i really love it i pretty much loved it when i got married like apart from the fact that i broke a couple of nails right before we got married so i actually had to shorten them all down i was so so like 
pissed off at that time because they were originally this length and I just had to shorten them and it was just heartbreaking for me because I really wanted like my wedding pictures um, with like the rings and the flowers and all to have like beautiful long luscious nails but yeah stuff happens you know <laughs> sometimes um especially back then i i didn't do any like extensions with false tips or anything like that i only did nail polish stuff so i wasn't able to get my length back and i didn't want false nails from like a salon either but yeah um, these are my like recreated wedding nails. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Also, what do you think of my new background? I have like tons of different background color thingies. So do let me know if you prefer this or the standard white one. I do think white is pretty sleek and like clean, but do let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And as usual, I hope to see you in a next video. Butter.